Hey guys, it's uh, Dark Architect 18 back here with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be doing the USS Kid Tier 6 uh, US Premium uh, Destroyer impression video. So, before we get into that, uh, I just wanted to make a quick service announcement. Uh, so, if you wouldn't mind, uh, please like and subscribe the video. It lets me know you care, and it gives me a good idea idea of how these videos are doing and what kind of content um, everyone's kind of looking forward to uh, so yeah anyways uh, back to the video so we have uh, we're gonna be going over the commander first then the modifications then a brief rundown of the stats and the armor viewer and then we'll jump into the gameplay so first of all we have Vincent Mordoff so uh, currently we have Observant Rage uh, look at me now Twist and Track Sheltered Arms and Unstoppable and then for our inspirations we have Louis Violet or Violet uh, reduce the duration of increased detectability for destroyers guns and then uh, increased concealment of your destroyers um, overall so this is more of a uh, reload slash range slash uh, detectability build. Um, so detectability for the whole ship itself and for its guns after it fires. So that's what I'm running. And then for the modifications we have aiming systems mod 1 in the first slot. Second slot we have steering gears mod 2. In the third slot we have concealment systems mod 1. Since we have that, now we're going to go over the stats. Um, also, one other thing to note is the kid has two heals. They're kind of small, but they're still um, very important for the ship itself. So, that's one very unique thing about it. Here's the stats for the kid. Uh, I'll be talking about these more in the gameplay. Uh, here's armor. So, yeah, and we'll be getting into the gameplay very soon. Okay, so today we have a battle with the kid. We are with uh, Mozart Man. Uh, he is in the uh, Miyoko. Just get into a game just now, so... See what we got here. Um, I guess I'm going to run down the uh, stats first. So for the kid, we have uh, 16,400 HP, 13 to 20 millimeter armor, artillery 5x1, 127 millimeters, 10.7 kilometer firing range, 3.1 second reload, 5 second 180 turn time. HE shell damage, um, we have the maximum HE shell damage of 1800, uh, like 5% fire uh, chance, max HE damage is like 2100, torps 1x5, 533 millimeter, 122 second reload, 6 second 180 turn time, 16,633 max damage, 1.1 kilometer torp detectability, 6.4 kilometer torp range, 55 knot torps, AA defense 6x2 20 millimeters, 2 kilometers, 3x2 40 millimeter, 3.5 kilometer, 2x4 40 millimeter, 3.5 kilometer, 5x1 127 millimeter, 5 kilometer. Maneuverability, we have 39.1 knot maximum speed, 620 meter turning circle radius, 3.5 second rudder shift time, a concealment of 5.5 kilometers detectability by sea, 3 kilometers detectability by air, and 2 kilometers detectability guaranteed range. And then for the other two ships that I'm going to compare is the Benson and the Benham. Benson Benson has uh, 14,300 HP, 6 to 20 millimeters armor, artillery 5x1, 127 millimeter, 10.6 kilometer firing range, so 0.5 to 0.2 less than the uh, USS Kid. 
uh, 3.5 second reload, 0.4 seconds longer than the kid, 5.3 second 180 turn time, torps 2x5, 533 millimeter, uh, 104.6 second reload, 6 second 180, 11,600 max damage, 1.1 torp detectability by C, 9.2 kilometer torp range, 55 knot top speed. Uh, for the torps, or just torp speed, not top speed. Um, <laughs> and then Benham, 14,500 HP, 6 to 20 millimeter armor, 4x1, 127 millimeters, uh, 3.5 second reload, 5.7 second 180 turn time. Torps, 4x4, 533 millimeters, uh, 85 second reload, so drastically lower reload. For torps compared to the Benson and compared to the Kid, uh, so we have six second 180 uh, turn time for the Benham still, and then 9233 max torp damage, so lower on the torp damage. Um, I think, yeah, almost cut in half compared to the Kid. To be honest for the torps, so more torps for the Benham and less uh, less range and everything uh 1.1 kilometer torp detectability by c 7.5 uh torp range and then 56 knot speed so uh during this video so far you kind of seen me um just kind of move up now we're just going after this trento but i just kind of went over the uh kid the benson and the benham um just the stats to give you an idea how that runs down with the reload. Um, I just killed the Trento and uh, had actually a miraculous uh, escape right there from those torps. I thought I was a goner right there, but I actually got it. So I just keep firing AP and uh, keep loading up on those Citadels as much as I can. Um, is AP does, I said, 2100 per salvo. Um, for the kid, so pretty good, and it Citadel is great against these cruisers. You can definitely see that a couple more times for sure throughout the rest of this game, where I actually use AP against uh, cruisers to get some of these Citadels. Um, really low reload for the kid, the Benson, and the Benham. Um, so I just run basically all three of those like gunboats. Um, the torps are nice. Um, if I get hits, I get hits um, based on, you know, if they're a little bit farther range or if they're not. But for, like, the kid, I don't worry about it too much unless I'm getting close. Is the torp range is 6.4 on the kid. So I just, I pepper, like, this California uh, and the Nuremberg and all these other ships with HE. So I switch from one target to the next. To maximize my fire chance and to also maximize my damage output so I do both of those at the same time and I'm switching to this Nuremberg you'll see right here which I'm doing uh, I'm kind of slowing down and then progressing up I'm also turning in and aiming up higher because I noticed the Nuremberg is moving away so I want to make sure I can uh, satis satisfy those uh, fires and I just got hit for about, I think it was like a thousand or something, 1200 um, from the California. Uh, and then I got hit again from the Nuremberg for about, uh, you know, like 1200 or something again. So now I continue moving up. Uh, California is getting absolutely uh, slammed with HE. Um, I'm just trying to load it up and we're up to like 150 something odd hits, five fires, one one plane, uh, like a couple Citadel hits, two kills and a assisted cap. So the other thing that I want to know is with these destroyers um, and XP during some of these games is that uh, if you're in a destroyer and you only get like 20,000, but you like killed three of your destroyer, killed three enemy destroyers in the process, 
and you capture a lot of bases, you get a lot of XP from that. You get more XP from that than comparatively speaking to uh, killing a cruiser or a battleship. You get less XP for that. So um, if you ever wonder about that, like low damage with the destroyer and you're capping bases and just getting a couple kills, that's why. Um, it's very important to know. So I'm going to keep that in mind. But anyways, we're just... Uh, see this ranger he's kind of pushing out a little bit too aggressive up towards the center of uh b cap i'm trying to switch to ap expecting like citadels but i didn't quite get that there because he was angled properly so i'm just going to switch to he i'm going to smoke up slow down and then i'm going to uh launch some torps uh expecting this ranger to I actually didn't really know what the ranger was going to do. I was expecting him to slow down and turn in, maybe away. But uh, apparently he booked it. So that was smart of him. But I almost got hit by the torps from the aircraft carrier, the ranger. So I backed up. Uh, I'm still in the smoke, up to over 100k now. Uh, my buddy uh, is uh, Drago. Um, he is in the flint. I'm just trying to mess him up with my HE. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going after the Jervis now. I'm trying to go after the Flint next. After I get a couple more hits on this Jervis, we're going to get hits on both of them here. We get a Confederate, we get a high caliber, we get some more planes. We're up to like seven planes. Uh, we're doing absolutely good gorgeous right now um i was like if i don't get spot here spotted here and i keep pumping the damage i could get like 140k i was thinking but i get spotted i'm like darn it i get spotted so uh i gotta book it because flint's right there and i'm like i gotta get out of here so i gotta switch to ap because i know he's gonna come in and try to you know smack me hard um, so I get another Citadel, we're up to 10 Citadels, uh, two kills, 120k damage, um, it was like six fires, 200 and, it was like 30 or 70, it, 200 and something hits worth of shells, uh, five planes, two kills, it was like five defense and then two incapacitations. So, a great game overall. Uh, definitely pleased with it. Uh, I've been kind of just working on uh, getting a build for the kid. So, and this Mordoff build is just going nuts. It's, it's, each time I've been using it, it's just been exceeding my expectations each time. And I've, Probably played Kid about 15 times now. So, I um, think next thing I'm going to do is definitely uh, aim to push out a uh, video for the uh, Kid. Um, but, a USS Kid review video uh, in the next couple days. Probably before, probably in the next week at the latest. Um but yeah, so we are just currently watching the uh, the Viser, the Wester. Well, I'd say the Wester, but some people say Viser. Um, is I think they're German, so they say it that way. But so uh, yeah, so he's kind of just backing up. We got uh, Jervis and the Flint. My buddy's in the Flint. Um, the other guys in the Jervis. Um, so this, this Viser is just really having a hard time going up against these two. He's, uh, trying to la launch planes and I think potentially like bomb or like torp, uh, the Flint, but it's kind of a hard and rock place situation. So, um, also one other thing I want to note is, um, I hope uh, if anyone uh, 
cares to leave a comment down below tell me what you think of the uh, USS kid how you think it performs um, what kind of builds you've run on it and any suggestions um, of content um, I should do next or um, anything of that sort so yeah definitely appreciate uh, the comments down below uh, so yeah we uh, end it there um, unfortunately lose is he just took out all of our uh, people on our side so we end with just 500,000 we get 277 hits 2 kills 6 fires 10 citadels 5 defense 1 assisted cap 9 planes shot down, 2 incapacitations, uh, high caliber, and a confederate. So, quite the game. I, I thought that was amazing. It, it's a really good impression video. Not the win that I wanted, but it's showing I'm not perfect. And I admit that. So, I still have work to do, too. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Dark Architect 18 um, Peace. Uh, thanks. Bye.